by the 1860s, the U.S. had 31,000 miles of rail line in the east, more than all of Europe, but none of them went west of the Missouri River. In 1862, Congress authorized the Central Pacific Railroad from the west and the Union Pacific Railroad from the east to blaze a path through the mountains, deserts, and plains of the rugged west and meet somewhere in the middle. 1,776 miles later, on May 10th, 1869, that dream became a reality. The final spike had been driven, binding the East and the West, changing the country forever. What used to take six months by wagon could easily be done in six or seven days. Hey everybody, what's up? We came for an adventure up here in Northern Utah. It's a nice chilly morning about 25 degrees and we're going to a special event the winter steam festival this event is unique to utah it will be starring the jupiter engine this year i think they switch it up so that both engines can take a turn which is cool i think the jupiter is a little bit nicer of a train than the other one the other one's kind of plain so we are going to step back in time to the 1860s the Victorian age and check out some trains. We'll check out a train. This is where the East and the West met and you no longer had to take your horse and wagon across the country. So this was the first rapid form of transportation across the United States. And they met right here at the Golden Spike. Should be a fun day, a nice good family activity you don't need a four-wheel drive to get out here. Paved the whole way. Uh-oh, I think we know this guy. I think that's Jolly. Mr. Jolly's Jalopies. This festival gives you the opportunity to get up close and personal with the train.
what you wear on the very bottom of your female is you have what's called a chemise. It's a cotton garment with short sleeves. comes about down to your knee. You also have on what they call drawers, and that is a garment that comes up to your waist and three quarters of the way down your dress underneath. And that's like, we would call them underpants now, but that is, and they are actually split crotch. Split crotch. Whoa, what? Split crotch. Because you can imagine, True, you have, once bathroom. you get all this stuff on here, it makes it much easier to use the, the rest true. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Then um, I have on an under petticoat, my hoop, and an over petticoat. You can put more more petticoats and stuff on if you're cold. But it, um, but it sounds like a good four layers. Oh yeah. Just normal. Just normal. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And then, of course, I have socks, cotton socks that come up to my knees and um, leather shoes. Yeah, I'd be overheated. <laughs> That'd be <laughs> too much clothes. Be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this festival gives you the opportunity to get up close and personal with the train. And it moves back and forth all day long so you can see it in action. items that I need to have just a little bit further by about five eight foot.
All right, we're at the Winter Steam Festival, enjoying the Jupiter. Cool. <laughs> and it is cool. It is it cool. Is, but yeah. it could be cooler. Well, it could be colder. Yeah, it could be colder. Yes. It doesn't get much cooler, but it could get colder. <laughs> Good times out of the Golden Spike. We're going to get out of here. I think I got one more adventure for you guys. So let's go. We decided to make a stop at the Bear River Bird Refuge before we go on that next adventure. Well, I guess these are the only birds we're going to get to see here at the Bird Refuge. Some seagulls. They were all dive bombing right here like there's a school of fish. Okay, trying to tell what these white guys are. They don't look like seagulls. Definitely nap time. No. I'm not fly very far at least. I don't want to get this picture. <laughs> you see how his head. This duck's head looks too little for its body. What the heck? Hey everybody, what's up? Well, we got some bonus footage. I'm up in the mountains, one of my favorite places. We're at Beaver Mountain. We started off at a nippy minus eight degrees this morning, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I wish there was a little bit more snow. We're still going to have fun. Me and my buddy Frank are here. Playing at the Beave. Beaver once again. Beaver, here we are. Beaver, Beaver. Again. Beaver ready to go. Uh-oh, Beaver. 
if Frank forgot to make a plan. I don't know if he's going to March's triple or not. My nose is frozen. It's still minus two. And it's almost two o'clock. It's been a cold day, but it's still fun. Okay, we forgot some important things today. We forgot buns, cheese. We got mayonnaise and mustard, so I had to use my bottle cap as a, a bun. Frank's used my cookies yeah, for a bun. Frank's got cookies for a bun. <laughs> <laughs> but it works. Yeah, you do what you gotta do. What a beautiful day. Awesome time at the Beave. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.